We wrote an article called With a Little Help from My Friends and what we were talking about is a migration tool that we're starting to develop as an open source tool so developers can add more features and enable it to do more things than it currently can do. So this article is all about it. This is the sort of thing it does at the moment. Uh, well, this is, this is the sort of thing which we'd like it to do, perhaps. And down here you can see these are the list of things that have been done so far and the developer who actually did them. Now you can click on the link here to get the Studio Migration Facility uh, Utility. When you click on that, this will take you to the Open Exchange page where you can actually find the application. So here it is. If you go to the main Open Exchange site, at the moment, at the time I made the video, you'll see it's highlighted here because it's a fairly new one. But if you didn't know where it was or you wanted to try and find it, you could click on App Search. And then if you just type migration and hit the return key into the search button um, there we go it's the second one so you can find it there as well so there's two ways to find it now to get it you click on download now check the box pick the version there's only one at the moment and click on continue this will then allow you to download the file after you've signed into your um, your account so here we go, it's downloading the file, it's just a zip file, when it opens it up you'll see there's an exe file. Don't run it from here, never a good idea to do that, best thing to do is to, um, you can just copy it out of there, go to your desktop and paste it onto your desktop. So now you have it somewhere in here. If we search by item type, oh, there it is, application, Studio Migration Utility. Yep. So all you want to do then, it's a good idea to right click, run as administrator. You don't need to run it as administrator, um, but I always do with these XC files, just to make sure that there's never any problems with permissions or any of that sort of thing. Um, and right-click running as admin is not the same as being an admin on your machine. So, first thing you've got a chance to do is to select the Start Menu folder. I'm going to let it go into the default. So it's going to put the shortcut into SDL, SDL Community. And it's also going to create a Start Menu item, which means when you click on the Start button down here, um, you'll see the, the shortcut will appear in there as well. If you don't want it, you can click on that. So I click on Next, Install. pretty quick that's it done and now if I come down to here you can see I have start migrate or the studio migration utility here and I also have here in S in all programs if I go down to SDL SDL community there it is the studio migration utility so you can pick it up from both and that's how you would run it so now that we've got the application the next thing you need to do is run it. But before you do, I'm just going to show you the sort of things that it's capable of doing. So I've got Studio 2014 here and Studio 2015 here. Let's so come back to 14 first of all. If I click on my projects list, you can see that I've got all of these projects listed down here. And in Studio 2015, I have none. So I'll, this tool is going to allow me to migrate all of those projects into 2015. Now the other thing to note here, if I just open the project folder to the go to the default location where all my projects are stored, stored, you can see that I've only got the sample project in there. So there's nothing in here at the moment. If I look on 2014 in the projects, I've got a whole bunch of projects in that default location. I've also got projects stored all over the place um, in other locations as well. With, that I might have saved somewhere else on my computer. It's important to note that this is the default location because when you run the application, it's going to ask you a couple of questions relating to this default location. Okay, the next thing to note is that in my translation memories view, you can see I have a number of translation memories listed here and I have a language resource template that's here as well. And if I go over to 2015, 
I've got nothing in there. So I'm going to migrate those as well. And last but not least, if I click on File, Setup, Customers, I've got no customers in here yet because it's a clean install. And over in Studio 2014, Setup, Customers, I've got a bunch of customers in there. I don't really use any, I've just added them there for the purpose of this exercise. So these are the three things I'm going to look at migrating. This is what the tool does at the moment. So it migrates projects, it migrates the location of your translation memories in this view here, and it migrates the customer list. So I'm going to close 2014 and 2015. And what I'm going to do, I'll close that. I'm going to leave that open for a second because I want to go to 2015, go to the default location, um, because I'm going to come back to that in a minute. So let's run the application. So I click on Start, Studio Migration Utility. So it's a little wizard based tool. First thing I can do is select the studio version I'm migrating from. I'm going to migrate from 2014. If you try and select too many, it tells you I need to select one version, so you can't go wrong there. So I'm going to go from 2014, click on Next. And now I want to put in the destination studio version, and I'm going to Studio 2015. If I made a mistake and put the same one, I get a message. And if I put too many, I get a message. So you can't really go wrong. You select one version you're migrating from and one version you're migrating to. So I'm going from 2014 to 2015. And I click on Next. Now it then gives me an opportunity to decide which of the selected projects I'm going to move. So the way this works is that every project in my list, note this says change projects location. So every project that was in my 2014 list is going to be migrated into 2015, whether I like it or not. Every single one is. So if you want to not take everything through, I'd recommend you tidy it up in 2014 before you run this application. This window is because any of the projects that are in the default location, so any of the ones that are in here, any of the ones that are in here, these will be moved, or a copy of them will be placed into here if I leave it checked. I'm going to leave it checked. The ones that are not checked, these are projects that I have, I have in 2014 that are not actually in that default location. And it's important not to move those because these may be somewhere else on my computer. I've no idea where. Studio knows where they are, but I don't know where. They might be in client folders. You might want to keep that client folder structure. So you might not want to move them. So it only checks the ones that are in the default location and moves them into the new default location, which makes complete sense. So I'm going to leave it doing what it wants to do best there. I'll click on Next. The next thing to do is I have an option to decide whether I want to um, change the location of the translation memories um, and the language resource templates by putting them into the new version of Studio 2015. So I'm going to say yes, do that. And the last bit is whether I want to migrate my customers or not. And I'm going to say yes, migrate my customers too. Click on Next. That's finished. And I click OK. So it's actually, you can see it, took a, it actually took me much, much longer um, to tell you about that and it did actually run it and you can also see now that these projects have been have been copied from 2014 and put into 2015 so if i go back to 2014 you can see they're still there this is just a copy and it's only copied the ones that were actually in the view in 2014 not every single one only the ones that were in the view um, but it has taken a copy of them it hasn't moved them this is important to note because if you start working on them in 2015 do not decide to go back halfway through and work on them in 2014 because they'll be different. You're now working on ones in a new program in a new location if you decided to move them. If you didn't, they'd all remain in 2014 and you could do what you want with them in both versions. Okay, so now that I've done that, let's start up the program 2015 and see what that's done. is my little quali qualitivity app where I've got an app that's already been upgraded to 2015 gives me an opportunity to back up the settings I'll say yes 
So I've started out in the, the view I was in when I left, which is the translation memories view. And you can see that now I've got all my translation memories are here. And if I double click on one, there we go. These have not moved from the location they were in before. These are exactly where they were before. So if you want these to be somewhere else, you need to physically move them somewhere else. Um, it was not a good idea to move the translation memories because they may be associated with projects and it could cause a lot of confusion. So we've opted to leave the translation memories in the location you've got them. Same with the um, language resource templates. If I click on my projects, you can see now I've got a new projects list and I've got a whole lot more in here than we're actually in um, that default location and I migrated and it's because when you look at the location you can see that that's my default and then I've got a whole bunch of things down here which are actually not um, not in the default location so it's left them where they are and just referred them to here which is perfect because you haven't lost anything or you'll still know where they are so you've got good control over your projects and if I click on file setup customers there we go and I've got my new customer list all that's migrated across as well. So that's how you do it. It's a piece of cake. It took me a whole lot longer to explain that than it did to actually run the application. But I hope that's clear and I hope you understand um, what it's trying to do.